What are you watching? I'm watching that new show that everybody's pooping their pants over. The Mandolinian. It's about this group of people called the Violins. And they hire this guy to go get little baby Mandolin. But what they don't know is he secretly runs away with the little baby Mandolin. Because he's going to join up with an R.E.M. cover band. And he's practicing for... Losing my religion. That's just stupid. <laughs> Hey, it's Greg C. again, coming to you with another episode of The Unboxing. Um, I, today, I got a box of material which is more recent. Things that I've read or acquired, and we moved. I had to throw them in a box and uh, put them aside. So, we'll take a look at that. Um, I got Hazel here. Come here, Hazel. Here she is. Oh, good, good girl. So, let's get to the unboxing. Let's first off, we got Midnight Eye, Goku. It was a great animated series, not a bad little uh, story here. An old Silver Age Midnight Mystery. Now, this is, uh, Alternia put this out, and I give Alternia credit. They're $1.50 a book, it's the old newsprint. The problem is, a lot of the book's stories and art are not up to snuff. Midnight Mystery was not bad. Uh, they must have done good enough because they did come out with Midnight Mystery uh, Part 2 right here. City of Ghosts. So, I like this one. I kept it. Now, Alternia removed themselves from Diamond Distribution. So they kind of committed suicide. Uh, you have to order from them direct, and I have not been doing that. Uh, here's Midnight Nation. This was a great series. Uh, Straczynski wrote it, and I enjoyed it. Why nobody ever made a mini-series out of it on TV, I'll never know. The man writes great stuff. Uh, here's one of those old, late 80s, early 90 animal books. It's... You know, I got it somewhere. It's part of some collection or another. I never read these. These, The animal books really don't throw me very much like this. Humorous ones. Here's something from Free Comic Book Day, Midnight Sky. Don't remember much of it. Uh, what do we got? Here's an Ash, Cash, Ash Can edition of Midnight Suns. And then Midnight Tales. One of Charlton's better horror books. I... I enjoyed this series very much, so I do have a big run of it. I don't know if it's here, but I do like it. It's very good. Okay, we come to The Mighty, which is just advertisements, really. And Mighty Comics, the old uh, Archie, I believe, by this time. Could be Harvey, but uh, they did the Black Hood. And I think DC got all these characters, the shield, the web, they got them all later on and tried to redo them. It wasn't bad uh, when they redid them. They were dollar books, if I recall. Um, good story, good art, just didn't catch on. Made it about a dozen issues. Here's the Mighty Samson from Gold Key. More great painted covers. As far as Valiant didn't get hold of Mighty Samson. I think Dark Horse put out hardcover editions of all the collected works in that. Uh, these are variant covers from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I'm not a big fan, just had the opportunity to get these covers cheap, so I did it. Uh, Mighty Mites, 
or those 80s funny type books. And this Titan Publishing, they were doing Doctor Who, and they came out with what they called the Hard Case Crime Series. I liked it, Mike Hammer. Uh, there was another one, there were two or three. They were really good, and then Titan just went all to hell, and they don't put anything out hardly now. Like they got a Blade Runner book or something like that, but it's weird. They were good, milk and cheese. Um, but uh, I don't know what happened to them. They, they imploded, I guess. And these are some DC reprint books. There's the of Robin. And here is DC's Millennium, which is a re, 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 relaunching of the Legion of Superheroes. Ben just wrote it. It promised to be good, and then the Legion of Superheroes book proved to be kind of a letdown, so I dropped it. Millie the Lovable Monster. And there it is. Here's a book called Mind the Gap, which... Don't ask me what it's about. She's in a coma. I stopped halfway through. I couldn't uh, get into it anymore. It's, she's in a coma. Something's going on. Uh, fans of Twin Peaks, you'll love it. All right, Misbegotten uh, came out a while ago, but I remember it was pretty warped and pretty good. So if you get a chance, you might want to pick this up. It only ran four issues. It's an old Polito book, Mischief Night. I have no idea what that's about. Hey, Mission Impossible. Barbara Bain here. This is the first issue. And speaking of first issues, first issue of Mr. Ed the Talking Horse. And here's Mr. X, who had a fantastic run in his day, but I just could not get into these books. If you're a Mr. X fan out there, you might want to put in the comments why Mr. X was good. I really don't remember much about him. I figure if something doesn't stick in your head, it can't be that great. More Mr. X. More Mr. X. Everybody says a Mr. X. A Mr. X. Everybody want a Mr. X. So why? Uh, here's Meet Misty. And... They didn't meet her too long. I don't think she had many books. It's just a promo book. Mobile Suit Gundam. Uh, great anime series. If you ever get a chance to watch it, the live action, do so. And not that I'm a big Disney fan, but I was able to pick up Mopey Duck books for like a quarter a piece or something. So I did get a big run of Mopey Duck here. I think Disney was dead by the time Mopey came around. And they weren't quite the unstoppable money-making juggernaut that will eventually take over the world. Here's modeling with Millie. Who, by the way, Millie had a great run. She lasted over a hundred issues some early ones. Uh, they command a big price. People are crazy about these books. Why, I don't know. But maybe it's the art. Maybe it's the innocence of its day. But uh, here's, it's, it's up to 186 here. And then here's a, a giant size Millie. Um, so, at, one thing. By the time the 70s came around, she turned into an Archie. Go back a little. She turned into Archie where here it was not Archie. But here it was Archie. So, into an archie thing. Okay, Modesty Blaze. Um, I'm a big fan. If you read these books, they're not fantastic. They're good art. They're oh, adequate storytelling. If you ever seen the movie, it's pathetic. Uh, nobody has yet to do anything good with Modesty Blaze. Uh, we'll wait and see. Maybe somebody will pick it up. Here's the Mod Squad. Everybody loved the Mod Squad in its day. I remember I had the trading cards when I was a kid. I used to buy them a nickel a pack. Mobius. These little digest books. If you have any Mobius books, uh, the magazines Marvel put out, they're worth a few dollars. 
There's another one, the man from Siguri. That looked like cigar. Uh, Mona Lisa. This is a Tom Virgil cover and a Virgil cover. B-I-G-I-L. Individual. Uh, the man's a great artist. He's up there with Corbin when it comes to drawing big boob to women. Um, of course, his big one was the Faust series. Uh, the Monarch. Which was, uh, it's a good book. It's not bad. I kind of like it. And here's some of the monkeys. Um, what can you say about the monkeys? They were great in their day. They made great music when they finally played their own instruments and worked together. And no one has been able to put on a TV show like the Monkees since. I remember the new Monkees back in maybe 1990. And uh, it was a far cry from the origin. But in this day of boy bands, uh, nobody's done it. So if I had the money, I'd make a, a Monkees uh, sequel. Monsters of Man Man, it's just uh, it's a, a Stephen Niles book. And it's okay, it's History of Jack the Ripper and Frankenstein Monster. Monster Boy, a little comic stuff there. And a bunch of Monster Hunter, Monster on the Prowls, which were all the reprints from the early Marvel Monster books. Here's Monster World. I don't know why I have them. I think I ordered them before I read them and they weren't too swift. Monster Us, again, not too swift. Ordered them. By the time you read the first one, you, you had to buy the fourth one and, and previews to keep up with it, and then you realize it got stuck with a dud. This is a lenticular cover. It's Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur and the Fantastic Four. Marvel did these after DC had tremendous success with their lenticular cover. But the company that Marvel hired to do this did a lousy job, and a lot of them don't work very well in lenticular. And here's Moon Knight. I have a friend who uh, is a very big Moon Knight fan. So here's a couple of Moon Knights thrown in. All right, last of the box. Oh, we got Moon Pilot. Uh, I guess it was a Disney movie. Maybe a pilot for a show. I, it's obscure. Moon Street. From what I remember, it was a pretty good little four-issue miniseries. And this is a good book, Mother Russia. It's too short for a show, too short for, for a movie, but it's a great read. It's a quick read. All right. Motor Girl, Terry Moore. This is a great book. I think it only ran a dozen issues. It's a good story. I recommend it. You know, I always say these TV people are missing out. This would be fantastic. Uh, even Adult Swim, if Adult Swim would do it. Ah, uh, but uh, who am I? Nobody listens to me. All the suits, they want to make stuff that uh, have to fight a giant spider or a polar bear or something like that to be a movie. Uh, Miss Tree. I guess I'll say it one more time. Another Miss on TV. This could have been a great friggin' series. I love Miss Tree. The art is beautiful in it. The stories are good. She's a tough character. She can kick Cagney and Lacey's ass. DC took it over after uh, Eclipse, and DC did a good job. They didn't screw it up. I thought it was really great. But you don't see Miss Tree anymore. And, ugh, uh, Miss Marvel. Blah. Pal up for, the, for the, 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 the masses. Let's not even talk about it. That's a wrap for that box. And I want to end today with... Um, I found the this old case. It's a record case from when they made 45s. It's from 76. Uh, 
DC had put it out. I don't know if Marvel ever made one to rival them, but here is the DC version. And I have stuff in here. I don't know what's in here, so let's just check real quick. Okay, this is um, promotional rings comic stores were given out, I believe. Uh, here's some Disney ones. Now this I kept because I, I like the rocket ship. It's just a blank recording tape. Uh, I guess this is a Disney 8mm. And it's from Charlie Brown. So these are the movies. Here's some more rings. Captain America promos. This is when Civil War came out. You were on Team Iron Man. Team Cap. Uh, here is one from the Gumball Machine days. Robin. Particular ring. It's an original. Team Cap. Yeah. Atari registration card. I see some Viewmasters. Okay. Let's see what we got. Oh, Land of the Lost. Cool. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Beverly Hillbillies, uh, Flash Gordon Animated, the booklet for 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Alright, Amazing Spider-Man and Captain America. Here's a little Cap comic. It was, I guess, with Bubblegum. It says Bubble Funny. Sky Trails Game. I have no idea what this is. Made in the USA back then. Interesting. Here is... Oh, I think this is a deck of cards. Yeah, deck of cards. An old Bride of Frankenstein. It's kind of cool. Here's Amigo Dr. Doolittle doll. He's roughed up there. And some Thor rings. Some promo cards. Some more promo cards. Superman tattoo. Some more mini comics from the Bubblegum. Game of Flags, another one of those little box games. Cool. Buttons. Here. I think it's The Walking Dead. Here's the same deck of cards, but with Dracula. Got a Hot Wheels. So I think when you bought a car, you got one of these little badges. There's a Vote Lex 2000 button. So thing car. And then I think the rest is just miscellaneous buttons here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Here's another Hot Wheels. So that's about it, folks. So that wraps up another unboxing this week. I just want to remind everybody that um, originally we were going to ask if we can get to 500 subscribers. We would give you, uh, pick a name out and give away this hardcover book, uh, Batman comic. But what we're going to do is drop it to 250. So if we can get to 250, we'll pick somebody out of the subscribers and we'll get the hardcover Batman book absolutely. That's the end of another episode. I'm hard to believe. Uh, time flies. So, I still have about 69,000 other comics to go through. 